Hello, good evening, and welcome to our channel once again. My name is Bimbo. If you are just seeing our channel, this is Jackpot with your days. And if you are a returning viewers or subscribers, this is Jackpot with your days. Thank you so, so much for always watching all the videos that we have been posting on this channel. Now, today I bring your way one of the easiest scholarship that you can ever think of or that you can ever come across. It, in fact, it is the easiest scholarship that you can ever apply for. So I found a recipient of one of these scholarship and, you know, I engaged with him. I said, see, my people will like to know about this scholarship because as you said on your page, this is the easiest scholarship that anyone can ever apply for because I mean, it's, if you got it like with a snap of a finger. So it looks like this scholarship body, they are actually looking for people to give money to or to fund to come to this country. Now, the country in which this scholarship is a resident in is a country that is considered one of the top 10 largest economy or that has one of the top 10 largest economy all over the world. Now, if you legally reside in this country within four years, you can become a citizen. You can apply for their international passport. And of course, if you give birth in this country, that is automatic citizenship. Now, with their international passport, you have access to give or take about 179 countries without visa. So, I mean, I'm talking about countries like Portugal, countries like Spain, countries like Canada, countries like UK, you know, name it, you have access to all of this country without visa. So with the international, so that means the international passport is that strong. Yes, over the years, I mean, they've also like Nigeria benefited from bad leadership, which could have made the country to be even better compared to all other countries all over the world. But as I said, you have nothing to lose because this is one of the easiest scholarship that you can ever think of or that you can ever apply for because basically you are, you know, being sponsored or you are being funded for everything that you are going to need in this country. And which country am I talking about? I'm talking about Brazil. Yes, Brazil is the country that has this scholarship and which means you will have to be studying in any master's program or PhD program in Brazil. So before I bring the first recipient, as he said on his page, the first recipient of this scholarship to, you know, to come give us details about this scholarship, the document required about this scholarship and every other thing that you need to apply for this scholarship, this is Jackpa with your days and don't forget like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we bring opportunities and information like this, you will be the first person to get notification. And in fact, Brazil has one of the best healthcare system all over the world. In fact, they have the best surgeon all over the world and it is they operate a free healthcare system for everyone legally residing in Brazil. So. Let's welcome our guest so that he can give us details about this scholarship and the necessary things that is required. Like I said, it is one of the easiest scholarship that you can ever think of or apply for. So let's meet our guest. Um, can we meet you, sir? All right. Uh, first and foremost, thank you for the opportunity to be on this channel. My name is Mike and... Uh, I currently live in the state of Berlin or in the state of Pará in Brazil. The city where I am right now is called Berlin and I am doing my PhD program in Brazil. Wow, that's very nice. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Now, um, this scholarship uh, in question that uh, we'll be talking about today, uh, can you tell us how you came to the knowledge? Because like I told my uh, viewers, I said this is one of the easiest scholarship because while I was researching it, it kept showing your channel, your page to me. And I said, okay, that's why I started the conversation with you earlier. So can you tell us how you came to the knowledge of this scholarship? All right, thank you so much. To be honest, 
I agree with you that this is one of the easiest scholarship. Let's establish that. Mm -hmm. And there's no lie about it. So before I came to Brazil, I was doing my PhD in Unilag. And I was done with my coursework with good grades. I was just to start my uh, lab. And I was trying to get, I was, you know, trying to get, there was no funds to mm. start the project itself. So mm. I was going online, trying to look for where I could get grants or get something, money that I can, you know, use to. But the money wasn't forthcoming. My supervisor too tried his best, trying to see if we could get the PD, PTDF or any grants that were internal in University of Lagos, mm. but none of them was successful. So while I was searching online, I stumbled on one particular, I stumbled on this particular program. But it is important for you, for me to say to that before I stumbled on this program, I had already established a connection with a, a professor in Brazil mm. at uh, Rio de Janeiro. And right. she had agreed that I can come to a lab and do my research work. But she also told me that, well, if you are coming, you're going to be the one to sort out your accommodation your feeding mm. and some other living expenses. Mm. So I look at my pocket. If I put all the little money I have, then how am I going to survive? Because it wasn't going to be enough. So yeah. I told her that, well, ma, I don't have enough money to do this. Even though if you are giving me reagent for free and bench for free, I still don't have enough money. So she told me that I could start, I could keep looking online. So that was when I stumbled on this scholarship called GCUB. In fact, it was just like one week or thereabouts for it to, to deadline. Mm -hmm. When I stumbled on it, then I quickly submit my application. You can imagine something that was just one week. Mm -hmm. I submit my application and because it was very, very easy. Mm. Wow, wow. That's nice. But just to quickly chip in, what is the meaning of that GCUB? Okay, so the GCUB is an acronym of a Brazilian... Um, sentence like group of brazilian community like group of brazilian universities that come together right oh so okay okay. Just... okay thank you very much now uh this scholarship in question uh for all applicants or for any applicant what are the benefits that they stand to gain for this scholarship okay uh to be honest with you this scholarship actually has uh, so many benefits mm. uh Let's start from the primary benefits. That is the ability for you to school for free. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. you're going to school for free. Then you can earn your degree without you paying a dime. So wow. that is one of the number one benefits. The wow. second benefit is that you're going to be paying stipend while going to school for free. Monthly. Monthly. Wow. Number three. Number three uh, benefit is that we are you are entitled to the school restaurant twice in a day. For free to eat for free. To eat for free, or wow. uh, it, it, it is almost free because you're know, like you are paying one reais. You are paying the minimum, the uh, the, the lowest amount. Mm. Just paying if you are in Nigeria now, compare you paying one naira for a food that's worth like uh, five thousand. Wow. So that is I So that is another benefit. Another benefit is that it is also I see it as a pathway to PR permanent mm. residence, permanent wow. residency in Brazil, mm. and then. Uh, that is another benefit is that if you come here, you can come with your dependents. Wow, really? Yes. Another benefit again is that while you're, if you are in Brazil, if you have not gotten a job, if your dependent has not gotten a job, you are entitled to a program called Familia Bosa. That means they will be giving your family some specific amounts every month. Wow, in Brazil. <laughs> in Brazil. Brazil that so, is, uh, a, a, I mean, a less developed or underdeveloped. Yeah, so that, yes, no, it it is. That is just that is that is that is the way it is. Wow, I'm 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 really impressed that uh, Brazil of all people have such kind of structure to support families that are. No, 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 no. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. That's all it. these things that I told you, all these benefits that I told you, I, have, I haven't gotten my PR yet. But every other benefit, like you eating for food. Getting Bosa, getting there, there I'm a testimony to them. So it is not that I read them somewhere. Mm. Yeah, something mm. that I'm enjoying it, right? Wow. I mean, you you all have heard it that all this be, it, it's more or less like you are schooling for free. And as as we is Nigerian, I'm Nigerian. So which means 
with everything that he has said and with the economy, if an economy is so uh, organized such that they can be providing financial support to your dependent that comes into their country, then that is a, a country that you cannot use to compare to the country where we are coming from, which is Nigeria. So that is a better country if you ask me. So, um, I mean, no, that is... That is that is something that uh, you guys really need to go for. You can you 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 guys cannot afford not to apply for that. Where, which is why earlier he has said it that uh, this is one of the easiest scholarship that you can ever apply for. Now, tell us something. Uh, if somebody wants to apply, what is the first thing that the person needs to do? Okay, so um, if anybody want to apply for this scholarship you just need to write two different essays. The scholarship yeah. requests that you should submit two different essays. We all know that if you want to do master's mm -hmm. or if you want to do a PhD, there's mm -hmm. a need for you to submit a proposal, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. there's a need for you to also introduce yourself like a, a statement of purpose. Yeah. So mm -hmm. these two essays are the major requirements so that they will use to mm -hmm. assess you, right? So mm -hmm. you are supposed to write Essay one, which, your, mm. which is statement of purpose. Mm. Then essay two, which is proposal of what yeah. you want to study. Yes. Then your BSc, if you are coming mm -hmm. for master's, mm -hmm. or your MSc, mm -hmm. if you are coming for PhD. Mm -hmm. Then the transcripts. If you don't have the transcripts, that is not a problem. You can mm -hmm. use the student copy. If mm -hmm. you don't now have the student copy, that is still not a problem. You can use like a record. There is something they call student record. It's not, it's different from transcripts. Wow. Like, you know, in Union Life, you can generate all the courses that you have done. Mm -hmm. that, you know, something like that a we student take, copy you know, kind docket. of. Uh, mm. Yeah, something like a docket that shows. So or you your record generate. of study. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. That, that is so that is for master and for PhD, you, you need the same uh, your BSc certificate, MSc certificate, yes, BSc or, transcript, MSc transcript to. No, 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 no. no. If, if, if you want to. Apply for PhD, you only need the transcript of your highest degree. So that wow. means, in that case, the transcript of your MSc alone. Wow, wow, that is quite interesting. I mean, I mean, as you can see, that's already established one of the criteria why we said this is one of the easiest scholarship because basically they make everything to be very, very easy for everyone. Now, um, does one need to show proof of form in one personal account? If assuming somebody wants to apply now, do, do we still need to show some money in our account before we apply for uh, visas, for, for example, or before we, we come into the country? Does, does one need to show proof of funds again? All right. Yeah. So to be honest, uh, there's a need, the scholarship specify that you should show proof of fund. But the mm -hmm. proof of fund in this, in this one, is not stringent like the one we have in all other scholarship. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, if you have 500,000 Naira in your account, you are good to go. So wow. the reason why they say you should show proof of fund is because if you get to Brazil in the middle of the month, you know, while you are trying to do your registration, before mm -hmm. you start earning your stipend, before you start stipend. receiving your stipend, there is a mm -hmm. need for you to show something that can, you know, keep your body and soul together. I so see. that is why they said you should. So this proof of fund is not strident, very, very easy. And there is also uh, like a pre-approved visa. Once you are shortlisted, the government, GCUB, will send a pre-approved visa on your behalf to your country. Wow. Of residence. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So basically, once you um you only need to show as low as five hundred thousand just to be able to take care of yourself for the first or first one or two weeks before you start receiving monthly stipend and there is a pre-approved visa that will be sent by the scholarship body to your own country to be able to make all your visa application wow i mean this is another point that also established that this is one of the easiest visa men i mean there is, there is, I mean, because the visa application process, especially for those people that I know and those that are already on our Telegram group, when they, when, they, when they get admission, getting visa is very tedious, a very tedious application process. So once um, a, a scholarship body is saying that there is a pre-approved visa for you that you just need to take your international passport to the Brazilian embassy in your country and, you know, you get issued visa, I mean, 
what other thing do you have to bother about again? There is nothing. Once you have your visa, it's just to it's just to book your flight and uh, move to Brazil. Wow, that is that is really impressive. That is really impressive. Yes, yeah. and I, I, I would also like to quickly add, sir. You know, I wouldn't know maybe you have been in the in the middle of applying for maybe something and uh, you just like come on, you guys are asking for too much and you yeah. give up. This <laughs> kind of this type, this particular scholarship, it has six stages. And mm. each of the stages is very simple. You don't need to, you know, you don't need to, you know, some of them, some scholars will even ask you to bring the, the best certificate of your grandfather, you know, or necessary documents. This one is just very straightforward. No any or necessary stress. Very easy. Wow. So the, each from stage one to the sixth stage, it's simple, simple questions, simple straightforward questions. Well, like like I said in my introduction, it looks like that scholarship body are just looking to give money away to people. And I trust my people, they are ready to take the money. <laughs> they are really ready to take the money. Now, in, in Brazil, can your dependent work in Brazil? And are there English jobs for English speakers? Especially those international applicants coming from English speaking country. Are there English jobs in Brazil? And can your dependent work? Okay, the first thing is that there are jobs. Your dependents can work. But you, as the principal, the, um, the scholarship says you cannot do paid physical job or mm -hmm. physical paid job, whichever way, right? That okay, is, you, yeah. can't, you can't take any job where you're going to be resuming to physically. Physical. So they did not give any. So because of that, that means if you have a job online, even being the principal, you can still do it. Mm -hmm. But your dependent, they can do any, be it physical or online. They can do so once they, you get to Brazil, they can go to the right place and get their work permits. That's all. Mm, mm, mm. So it is only the primary applicant that is not eligible to work because they are already receiving monthly stipend. But the uh, dependent can work for as many hours as they can cover. Wow, that is okay. that is really quite impressive. And as he said, there are English jobs for international. English speakers. Now, are there other benefits that comes with being a student in Brazil, like maybe uh, free public transportation, so free as we have it in as we have it in Portugal, or are there any other benefits that you know all international students benefit in Brazil? Okay, so one of the one of one of the other benefits as international students in Brazil is that. You actually have access to pay half of the uh, transport fare. Whatever you are going to, you're just going to pay half of the T fare. But if you are within wow. the campus, if you want to move from one region to another, you will enter the bus free. You're not going to pay really? anything. Wow. 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 Now, again, That's... again, is that there is, uh, and this one is specifically for people doing PhD or masters. I think I know of PhD, very sure. I'm not certain about the master. Is that you can apply for uh, inter? They call it intercambio. Like you can, I can decide mm. that I want to come to Portugal now to do part of my work in your school. Okay, once I have okay. secured with this, once I have established a connection with the person that is going to host me, I can now apply mm. for you know the another another scholarship that will allow me to come there. We call it. Uh, I think it's for it's for PhD. They, they call it Doutorado Sandwich. So this this sandwich will bring me to Portugal. I'll, I'm going to be paid mm. for a maximum of six months. They are going to be paying mm. me separately. It's different from the other mm. type of I'm collecting. They are going to help me process exactly. my visa. They will pay your transport, uh, your flight tickets, everything. So it's another benefit wow. that is attached in Brazil. Wow. That is that is quite impressive, and if, even I myself, I'm I'm already impressed. I'm already impressed with Brazil because I was I was really expecting that. I mean, Brazil is is more or less like you know like Nigeria where we come from. But with what I've read and with what I'm you know physically hearing from you, you know, I'm I'm really impressed with them. I'm really impressed with them. And if any of them have offended me before, I think I'm, I'm it, it is it, I'm good to go to forgive them now because. <laughs> I have a lot of Brazilian friends here, and you know, in, when I was uh, staying here alone, all of them were my neighbors. So, uh, if any one of them have offended me before, I've forgiven them. <laughs> wow. 
All right. So, um, so just uh, before we run this up, let me ask: um, um, Does one need to have admission for either master's program or PhD program in Brazil in any university in Brazil before applying to this scholarship, or you can apply to the scholarship and look for? How does it work? Okay. So the the body, the GC body, actually can do everything so once you log into the portal you will apply to the school that you want there are a list of schools and one of the one of the benefits mm. is that they give you the opportunity of applying to five different schools so what wow. it means that if university a is not going to pick you you still have chance you still have opportunity with university b up to university, university b. e right so you're going to apply to five different universities now you can also determine, I mean, you can decide to tailor different essays for each of these universities, depending on if you have time, mm -hmm. okay? During my own, I, I mm -hmm. didn't really have the time, so I just submitted, I think I did two. I did two different essays. So I submitted mm -hmm. one for, I think, two universities, then the other one for the remaining three. So you can decide to tailor, yeah. like you are sure about the school, you tailor the essay for this school, you are sure about university B, you tell law. Do you understand? So, yeah. so all the schools are listed on GCUB portal. I see. So, so it is GCUB. You are going to apply separately. Mm, I see. So it is GCUB that undoes everything. So they give you an opportunity to be able to select in order of preference which university you want and which course in this university you want. And if you have time, you can also design an essay that will be particularly tailored to each of the university. But if you do not have time, you can write a comprehensive essay that addresses each of the courses that you are applying for at each of these. I mean, this is fantastic. And no, seriously, this is one of the best things because for all the scholarships that I've addressed on my page, none has made international applicant life as easy as this. And I am a testifier of that because I posted a whole, a whole lot of scholarship on this page on my channel as well. So, I mean, no, 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 I'm, I'm quite impressed. I'm quite impressed. Now, uh, I think we've, uh, we've what, what are the documents that, um, I mean, I think we've talked about one or two points of this, but let me just ask, what are the documents required for this scholarship? Apart from the um, um, master certificate, if you're going for PhD and uh, uh, master BSc certificate and transcript. If you are going for master, what are and is there any other document that is essential that all applicants need to ensure that they have before starting the application? Okay, so I usually uh, refer to all these type of document as extra application document, right? So mm -hmm. they are not mm -hmm. specific documents, but they are extra. So one of such is, uh, uh, but this would be. When you have been selected, okay. Once you have been selected and you are planning your way, I mean, to come to Brazil, you are going to mm. get insurance, health insurance, that will make uh, you there. You might need to do mm. one or two. You don't. You don't even need to go to go through all those rigorous go and do tuberculosis tests. Go and no, no, no. Just insurance, health insurance. That's all. Health insurance. And what about police character? Oh yeah, 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 police character. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. You are, you are going to be in need of police character, and if you are married, you might need to uh, notarize your wedding certificate. Mm -hmm. All of these ones mm -hmm. are not even required by the scholarship body itself. It's just from the embassy. Okay, so those the are embassy, one of those yes, exactly. embassy, and they will give you your visa. Mm. Mm. Wow! 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 Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, and of course, you have already mentioned the visa application process that it is a pre-approved visa application. Once you have been selected, they send um, um, your visa application process or visa application document to your embassy, to the Brazilian embassy in your country. All you just need to do is to take your um, a passport to the Brazilian embassy in your own country for them to issue you the Brazilian visa for you to be able to relocate. Now, and lastly, 
The last question is this, because I'm sure a whole lot of um, viewers and my subscribers would want to, you know, probably engage with you on a personal note to ask one or two questions, get clarifications during the uh, visa, sorry, during the scholarship application process, among other things. Do you have like a page or YouTube page or any social media handle in which they can personally engage with you and, you know, uh, uh, speak with you? All right, so thank you so much. I have a YouTube channel where I talk about schooling in Brazil, you know, uh, schooling in Brazil for international students. And the name of mm. the channel is Knowledge Plugin. Knowledge Plugin. Mm. So mm. when you search YouTube, you'll see a channel that has the Christ Redeemer, that logo, that logo that Brazil is known yeah. for. So yeah, that's yeah. so I will be I will be swift to respond to any for that clarification. Mm. Wow. Thank you so, so much. And as you guys have heard, if you need any clarifications, you want to engage with him personally, go on YouTube and search for what is called Knowledge Plugin and subscribe to his channel, engage with him, ask him questions so that he can personally guide you on every step of the way regarding your uh, scholarship application for the GCUB. And as we, have, as we have said from the beginning of this video till the end, this is one of the easiest scholarship that you can ever think of. And what would the beauty of it again is that it allows you to move with your family if you are if you are a married man or a married woman. So I mean, what other excuse would you say you have that I've got I've posted numerous scholarship opportunity on this channel? So I can I can categorically confirm that this is the easiest scholarship. So it looks like the the body are just looking for people to assist or to, you know, give fully funded opportunity to be able to get their master's and their PhD program. So, yes, thank you very, very much, Mike, uh, my brother, for, you know, um, um, sparing your, be out of your busy schedule, because as a PhD student, I understand, I mean, we are all very busy with one thing or the other, sparing your busy schedule to speak or uh, to provide these informations to my subscribers, we really, really, uh, and my viewers as well, we really, really appreciate you. Thank you very much once again. Uh, let, let us, I mean, do you have any other thing that you would like to say to uh, the viewers out there? Yes, I would like to say, uh, first and foremost, thank you, Bimbo, for having me on this channel. And uh, I was able to look at all the works you have been doing on your YouTube channel too. And I must say, you are doing a very good job Kudos thank to you. you. I want to say thank you to all the viewers, all the you know, subscribers of this channel. I want to say thank you. Thank, thank you for your you. loyalty and uh, God bless you. I'm wishing you success in your application process. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. Thank you very, very much for that. We really appreciate you once again. I mean, it's really a pleasure that uh, you made our time to be with us this evening. So I'm going to be leaving the, uh, the, uh, the scholarship uh, form, the uh, scholarship details on the video description. So if you need any further details regarding the scholarship, you can check the video description. And of course, if you need to engage him personally, you can, you know, uh, subscribe to his channel on YouTube, uh, Knowledge Plug, or you can chat him personally for any clarification regarding the application procedure or the scholarship application procedure platform. So thank you very, very much once again. Let me leave you now. Bye-bye.